We're going to uh, take a look at the root website. Apparently some changes were happening. I've seen some people say that they were uh, unaware of how to connect to the root network, how to bridge. I just sat down on my computer. I haven't actually looked at any of this yet. So let's, uh, let's go and do a little bit of a deep dive. Rootnetwork.com. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So uh, if you haven't seen, they launched a video that is pretty sweet, which we'll play here in a second. than just a blockchain, the root network enables seamless user experience and asset interoperability across the open metaverse. What a buzzword. Okay, so bridge to the root network. Let's just connect the wallet here, see how this looks. Uh, <laughs> okay, we'll connect. And that's it. Okay, cool. Um, for options right now, they have Silo, Asto, and then ETH. So typically when you're on a page to connect to a network in general, it will give you either a pop-up that says add network to MetaMask. And what you would do is go to your wallet, go up to Ethereum, come down to add network. And then this will pop up and happen here. If we just search root network, yeah, nothing's, nothing's popping up there. So we're going to have to add a network manually. Uh, just going on Twitter, at NFT sales has the info there. I don't know why this isn't posted in more spots but I'm assuming in time that integration is going to happen. And just the first part of that is the bridge. So uh, the root network, and if you want to check in the description below, I'll have this all typed out so you don't have to uh, do this yourself. But again, this update's probably uh, coming at one point. So HTTPS. Okay, boom. And then there you go. So switch to the root network, and then you should see on the top here, uh, it'll just show up. I don't have any XRP in this right now, um, but you'll have that saved within the settings here, and you probably won't have many of them. And if you do, you could just exit out of some of them if you want. You can add manually whenever, uh, and then you should be good to go on that front. Uh, you can bridge to the root network, ETH network, or XRPL. Obviously, you're already on the ETH network, so you don't need that, but that's interesting that those are just the uh, three options currently. Let's just do 0.01, uh, bridge it. So it's three dollars to bridge. Wait a second. Why would it let me bridge if I've not done anything on the root network on this account? Because it doesn't matter. Interesting. I kind of had the impression that there was a chance that you might have to have created like a future pass or something for that. But it looks like whether you have a future pass or not, you're able to bridge over to the network, which again, thinking about it out loud, that's obvious, but just uh I guess there was, I thought there was going to be some kind of uh, limitation for that currently. So that's really good to see that this is open to the public. You don't need the feature score uh, page for that. If you're curious, though, if we go to the feature score dashboard, I think we want to connect the account. Account or there, tokens. Got a little bit of Asto in there. Uh, connected wallets, view on Ethereum. So I don't know. One of the biggest things that they were talking about was connecting wallets, and I don't see how we're supposed to connect currently. Maybe that's coming in like a future iteration of this. So from Futureverse, there was this post that was back on June 12th that said the first feature score optimization begins tomorrow. See the thread for details. Uh, we're updating feature pass from an EVM based implementation to a built in native component of the root network. The update will deliver cheaper gas fee security improvements. The negative integration will also mean that your existing feature pass address will change to a new OXFF number. You'll see this when using experiences with feature pass integrated, such as fluff world, the next legends, Anum car club and gods and goblins and feature pass dashboard. 
The new OXFF format ensures Future Pass addresses are easily identified in your wallet. To complete this update, Future Pass will go into maintenance mode for an estimated five hours from Tuesday. Uh, bada bada During this time, it will be. Uh, thank you for your patience. So. I really thought that this was going to be the update that connected the wallets. I think this is a little bit of a hint potentially at things not coming right away. And I don't mean that in like a negative way, but just kind of the, we know that for the upcoming uh, challenges, they've said that one of the key things that needs to happen is the ability for people to connect one wallet under one future score account. And that option, again, future score account coming soon is not there. This was just the bridge. So I'm, I'm hoping, I guess, next week that we get like another iteration of this getting uh, allowed or optimized again on that specific tweet, the first feature pass optimization. Uh, so I'm going to assume there's going to be a multitude of ones. I don't know how long this is going to be. Kind of interesting. Again, I'm I'm not going to bridge this over just yet because uh, I don't really know what account I'm using for uh, things with on this network. It'll be interesting to see how long we have to wait. But again, uh, bridging relatively inexpensive. It was like $2 for that. So the discussion on Root, Root is the life force of the Root network. More than just a blockchain, the Root network is decentralized, community owned, and designed to power and connect digital experiences within the Futureverse and beyond. The Root token, Root unites diverse communities, nurturing boundless creativity by exchanging and cultivating imaginative potential. A revolutionary multi-token economic Economy, not economy. Uh, the Root Network utilizes a dual token system, Root for security and governance, and XRP for gas fees, ensuring optimal network efficiency and security. Proof of stake protocol. Root is essential for securing and operating the Root Network's proof of stake POS protocol. Node validators and delegators stake root for fees, incentivizing active participation and network integrity. Decentralized exchange uh, plus state oracle and in exchange. An in-chain decentralized exchange DEX integrated with the XRPL DEX facilitates efficient assets trading and liquidity pool establishment. The state oracle enables interchain interoperability, allowing developers to link events across multiple chain. Root fuels creators and communities, enabling a thriving digital economy with abundant opportunities. Community owned and distributed. 40% of root total supply at 12 billion tokens will be distributed to the community through land mechanics and the interactive Future Score program. Future Score rewards loyal and engaged community members, offering root based rewards for participating in quests. This is very interesting that it's so blanketly said for the uh, land mechanics. Burroughs. Rejoice. Uh, powering the future from network security, staking to engaging in the root marketplace and immersive experiences powered by Futureverse, Root empowers innovation. As Root Network and Futureverse evolve, Root's utility and potential for unlocking new experiences will expand. This is only the beginning. So, uh, partnerships. Uh, I have no idea why the hell they have partnerships listed as like fill this out and become a partner. When I, when I read that partnership page here, that makes me think like, hey, we get to learn who their partners are. So if anybody from the team is watching it, maybe, maybe just a suggestion on that front. The features, this goes over a fair little bit. Build safe, simple, and secure open metaverse applications, a critical foundation responsible for maintaining the integrity of the ledger, uh, validating transactions, and executing the magic of smart contracts. Our layer one blockchain is designed to deliver a seamless user experience for metaverse applications. Hell yeah. And then L2 scaling. Scale the open metaverse to a global audience. Scalable L2 technology future-proofs the network to ensure its continued growth and success. The root network employs a network of networks architecture that leverages the community of our layer one chain. The root network is a modular development toolkit prioritizing scalable, secure, and interconnected experiences. So there's a whole lot more going on here. Again, you can go check out the trailer for that. Just wanted to make a quick little video so you guys kind of feel like, hey, we know what the uh, new Root Network site's all about. I uh, hope you enjoy it. And again, we'll chat soon.